everyone good afternoon my name is Mustafa Mohamed Bashir and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how we can write a simple function in JavaScript to check whether or not an input is actually a valid email so what is a valid email in the first place or what are the characteristics of a valid email so over here a valid email or the characteristics of a valid email is that that email or that particular input should have a username and then a domain name so an example is for instance john at gmail.com and the characteristics of a valid domain name is that one of the characteristics of a, val of a valid domain name is that it has a period in it so an example is for instance google.com so in our form register an account or register account we have this email over there right so for instance if we are using javascript to do the submission through the fetch api and we are making a post request to the server to submit this particular um, information we are collecting from the user we're using javascript we can actually write a function to check whether or not this particular email that is typed by the user is actually a valid email at least whether it has the characteristics of a valid email because we cannot always rely on the html form attribute to do our form validation as i explained in our previous in my previous tutorial we can actually change anything in the inspect element so for instance as this is of type um, how do you call it email i can change it to test and that means this validation is actually not going to work right so that is how we are going to write a function to do that so that function is actually going to take an email right and then it is going to check whether or not it bears these characteristics right so that is what we're actually going to do and we're actually going to call this function on submitting the form so we're actually calling it here I'm actually going to design this function to return a boolean so if it's a valid email it's going to return true if it's a if it's not a valid email it's going to return false okay so that's what we're actually going to do so now when we come here we are getting the email right as an input how do we check whether or not this has the characteristics of a valid email that's the first one we want to check we want to check whether it has a username and whether it has a domain name so we are going to use the split function to do that so first we are going to say for instance let split is equal to email dot we'll call the split function and then we are splitting it at the at because this is the username and after the at we have the domain name Okay, so we are splitting it at the add. So this is actually supposed to return what um, two items in an array: the username and then the domain name. So if we console log this, for instance, and we go back and we refresh our page and we open our console and we click on register and we go back to the console and we type in, for instance, a valid email for instance and then we submit we are getting the email which is the username and then we are getting the domain name okay so this is working as expected proceed further we have to check whether or not the email that we got is empty so if it is empty then we return false if it is not empty then we we'll proceed with the action that we want to do right if the email is equal to an empty string return false else want to run this code so upon running this code now we are splitting this so first we want to check whether or not it satisfies the characteristics of what um, of an email so whether it has a username and then a domain name so how do we check whether it has a username and a domain name? The, when we split this, we are supposed to get what? Two what? Um, items inside an array. So we have to make sure that when we are checking, we have to make sure that the array has a length which is greater than what? One. That is the way we can check whether it has the characteristics of what? Of a domain uh, or of, of an email. And also when we are checking, the domain name shouldn't be what? It shouldn't be empty. So this is how we go about the check. 
we first say if for instance the split email the length is less than two we want to return false that's what we want to return then we'll check again else if the split email dot length is greater or equal to two and the second element inside that particular array is empty we want to return false else we want to return the split element okay so what we are doing here is this we are checking when we split the email that we are getting are we getting the username as one element and the domain name as another element which are going to be put inside an array so that means the array is having what two items so when we do the split we want to ensure that the um, the array has two items now bear it in mind if i type john at and i don't type anything the split function is actually going to return the domain name as an empty string so let's try it out so over here for instance if i reload this and then i type this and then i disable the this attribute or i remove it from there entirely right for instance and then i type john at okay let's get to the console if i submit this we get what we get false we get false because we've indicated right over here that if the second element or if the second attribute is what is an empty word string it should return what false so realize that as soon as i add something for instance gmail i've not added the dot if i submit it gives us what john and then the gmail so you see it is splitting this at john which is the username and then followed by what the domain name so now the function or the code over here is running but this is also not what is it's also not sufficient what we actually want to do is also check whether the domain name is actually a valid domain name so how do we check the domain name must also have what a dot in there so what we'll do is saying let's say let domain is equal to what the split email at one right that's the domain then we are going to split the domain into two first let's console log this so that you don't get confused so if i refresh this I click on register I go back I disable or I remove this attributes from there and I type in something let's say join again at gmail if I go to the console and we log out we are getting what gmail how do we check whether it's a valid um, domain by making sure that it has a dot so we'll come here and then we'll split so we'll say let let's say split domain is equal to the domain and i'll call the split uh, function on it and i'll pass in the dot so i want to split as what at this dot to ensure that at least it has a name followed by something right so the domain name too must be what must have a, the array that is returned is supposed to be what more than what two items so if we type just at gmail it's going to return just a single item so when it returns a single item means it's not a valid what domain so that is what we are trying to check over here so we'll see if for instance the split domain dot the length right is less than two we want to return false that's what we want to do 
else if the split domain or the length is greater or equal to 2 the reason why I think greater or equal to 2 is because you can have a, a, a domain that is for instance gmail.com.uk or something like that so realize that the split for the dot is going to be more than what two um, items so we are saying if the domain name right at least is what the length is greater than two and sorry so this is the word and the second item so the split domain sorry the split domain the second item is equal to an empty string we also want to return false else return true come here and then we reload and then for instance we go back to the register our console is still there so if I type in for instance John at Gmail. If I leave it like this, if I try to sign up, I get false because this is not a valid email. This is not a valid email. But if I add a dot and I don't add anything to, I still get false because it's still not a valid email. Realize that it's asking for that. So let me let's go ahead and then bypass this so realize that when I try submitting if we go back to our console when I try submitting this still gives us what false but as soon as I indicate something dot C it becomes true it becomes true so that is how you can write a simple function to check whether or not something is a valid email so, for instance, inside your, uh, let's say submit, you can check if, for instance, you can check if, let's say, check email, and then you pass the email. So, if this console log good to go, else console log invalid email. So, if we save this, we go back, and then we refresh. And like I'm, I keep saying, let's bypass this because we have an HTML form attribute that we are using to check, which is this type. So let's bypass that quickly. And then let's type in something. Let's go to the console. And let's type in something. So let's say, let's type in something. Let's say, John at Gmail. If I submit this, it says what? Invalid email. If I add a dot com becomes good to go so that is how you can write a simple function to check whether or not the email that a user has inputted is actually a valid email thank you i hope this tutorial is useful to you and i'll see you in the next one bye bye